Um, sheesh. McDonald's, quote, ask pickles. Honestly, I have no idea what's happening. Uh, Google is helping McDonald's create a chatbot named Ask Pickles. Huh. To help employees troubleshoot problems and push customers to buy more food. A mm, little bit questionable on that last bit. So um, if there's a pause in the conversation, <laughs> do you hold the pickles? <laughs> Where's my f- bell, Dan? There it is. <laughs> oh, man. In return, McDonald's yeah. will give Google access to customer data from its apps. Of course they will. Oh, okay. McDonald's has been experimenting with automated voice orders since 2019. They spurred TikTok memes back in February <laughs> due to order bots replacing Diet Coke with nine iced teas. <laughs> what? And added butter and cream packets to an order of plain ice cream <laughs> and interpreted a request for 20 chicken nuggets as a request for 220 chicken nuggets. Oh my goodness. I'm into the last one. Let's go. Let's it knows go. what I really want. Dude, that's that was our first uh was that the was that the our Christmas first company party? company Christmas party essentially yeah, yeah it was, was it just a pile of chicken nuggets because they were on sale. It was a first anniversary sort of um Let's do this, boys. Yeah. I don't know if Yvonne is ever going to forgive me for us doing that without her. <laughs> it was just spur of the moment. It was like, we're in CES. Let's do one nice meal. And it kind of became, it wasn't you know, whatever. really an actual like. Yeah. But it like became that when we did it again the next year and she also wasn't there. That's true. I wasn't going to bring that one up. <laughs> yeah. We do it right now. Yeah, we do. We, we do it up now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah the Christmas yeah. party's friggin' awesome. Uh, but yeah, that's that's McDonald's Ask Pickles. We're moving on. We're going to Grok now. Uh, the beta has rolled out to all X Premium Plus subscribers in the U.S. Um, do, wait, do not use if you hate humor? What is it? This is on their actual that's site. In the, that's on the site. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to call that cringe. I think that's cringe. I think that's cringe. I think that's cringe. Okay, boomer. All right. I don't know. Is that cringe? I think that's cringe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's cringe. I think that's cringe. All right, moving on. Meta AI. Meta started uh, publicly testing... The more based you think you are, the more cringe you actually are. (laughs) Yeah, you have to be called based by an external party. Um, (laughs) You can't... It's like like a a nickname. You can't give it to yourself. You can't decide you're cool. Yeah. You have like an external review board. And your mom doesn't count. (laughs) You're very based, son. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Mom. You mean a lot to me. Cringe. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Meta started publicly testing more than 20 new features of its Meta AI assistant, including a free image generator called Imagine with Meta AI hmm. and a language translation tool that maintains the speaker's vocal style called Seamless Expressive. They also showed off their updated uh, relightable Gaussian codec avatars. Very cool. Uh, for VR slash AR, it's even better than before, and it's wild. Let's take a look at that. I'm trying to sign into Facebook right now. I thought I was signed in on this computer, but I evidently am not, and it will take me a spicy minute to get signed in because I love Insert Current Year. Okay, hold on. And how easy it is to sign into anything ever. Okay, what am I look? Excuse me, what am I, I looking at? I think this is AR person through the glasses, and then that's... AR person on a monitor. So I'm going to do it again. AR person through the glasses. Accurate at the hair strand level? AR person on the monitor. Wow, that is pretty That's actually cool. insane. And then I just honestly don't even know what we're looking at anymore. Wow, that's a recreation, isn't it? That's nuts. That's crazy. Okay. Wow. I'd be afraid almost That's to wild. look into a camera that copies my likeness with that degree of detail and accuracy. I mean, there's enough video imagery this, of me that it's not going to matter, but this, I mean, you should, might not want to like... This part here is crazy. Might not want your face digitally owned by someone else that accurately. Whoa. They're using the hand control to move the light source. Oh, that's cool. Well, oh, that's nuts. All right, moving on. Um, They also showed off their update. Oh, nope, that's the same thing. China wants synthetic TikTok girls. (laughs) 
Sorry, what? <laughs> this, this month saw the publication of not one, but two breakthrough models by Chinese and Singaporean researchers to generate video based on a still image and mocap data. So you don't have to look into the really fancy camera, apparently. Uh, the models have drawn criticism for being trained on TikTok videos of primarily girls dancing without their creator's consent. Magic Animate was partially developed by researchers from TikTok's parent company, ByteDance. Animate Anyone was developed by researchers from Alibaba Group. Discussion question. What kind of product slash feature slash experience do you think will bring generative AI fully into the mainstream? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I question honestly a lot of how much content is currently out there that is generated by ai that people don't realize somebody linked me a um you know how there's uh lo-fi beats to relax and study too and then there's like remixes by everybody yep um somebody linked me one that was a lord of the rings one that like I, it just has me questioning things you know i'm not certain it might be generated I don't know. I could be wrong. Huh. I don't necessarily think the image is. The image might be. But I kind of think the music is. Because there's parts that like don't really flow right. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, ah, uh, I don't know. And, and it doesn't flow right in a way that makes me think AI stuff, if you know what I mean. Right. I don't know. I am finally signed into Facebook. And brilliant. <laughs> that was accused to be <laughs> very nice. That was accused to be totally fake. They just use TikTok videos to show what their AI can do. What? I don't know which part they're talking about, so I'm not certain. But yeah, it's uh, things are getting weird. I don't think we know how mainstream things necessarily are yet because I don't think we know what all is actually generated by AI and what isn't. I mean, one thing that's super mainstream is uh, pictures and videos of nude people. And we can talk about how AI has been used in that industry. The UK is trying to use AI oh. age estimation through facial recognition. So not not a rec not recognition of you, the individual, your face, but an estimation of how old your face probably is to age gate pornographic websites, and is requiring these sites to. I believe it's either. Um, take ID from you or this um, AI age estimation thing or oh man, there's I think there's one other one and like people things are going to have to go back to things are getting crazy. Well, no, see, this is the thing that I think it was the hub that brought this up the last time uh, some American state was telling them, you know, oh, you need to do this for age verification or whatever else. Oh, yeah, you need to start collecting people's IDs. They were like, look. This affects nothing because some site hosted in Timbuktuistan oh, yeah. or something is not going to follow any of these rules. And as long as the internet exists, you have absolutely no way of enforcing it with those guys. So they're just not going to do it. And then people will just not use our site and they'll just use that site, which is not a great excuse when obviously this is something that needs to be managed in some way, whether it's from a think of the children way or whether, or whether it's whatever else, right? Um, anyway, long story short, collecting, having third parties collect IDs is really bad. <laughs> yeah. um, having even <laughs> your own government collect a list of people who have accessed this, these sites is um, not much better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, wasn't and, it uh, Australia very and, recently and had all their passport info leaked? AI age estimation is obviously stupid, especially especially in a world where that thing you just showed me exists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. Just put the AR glasses right in front of the camera. Yeah, exactly. There you go. 